Have you ever walked around Dollar Tree and wondered, can I use this for crafting? I'm not sure. In today's video, I'm going to bring you seven Dollar Tree items that are not meant for crafting, but are great to have in your craft room. Before we jump into it, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified every time we get crafty. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we found was something that we found in the beauty section, and this is this makeup brush holder with suction cups on the back. This would be a great tool to use to hold maybe some of your weeding tools like this. You could place them in. You could also do Cricut pins in the middle. So many different things you could do. You could put your zig pin over here. That It does have bigger slots on the side and there's smaller ones in the middle. So there's so many different things you could do. I want to see if I could place maybe a blade in here in the middle. See if there's enough room for that. It makes it tight everywhere else, but you could even put blades in here and suction it to somewhere close to your Cricut and have it where it's sitting out and ready for you all the time. I love this tool. I think it is one that definitely is a, you definitely need to pick it up if you see it at your local Dollar Tree so that you can have it in your craft room. Next up is an item that's going to be found in the kitchen section and that is this cheese grater. Now the reason that we love having especially this handheld cheese grater is because this is great for distressing HTV. Now this is a little hack that we have taught on our channel a couple different times but what you can do is if you want a distressed look but you still want to use HTV you can take this cheese grater and kind of grade parts of the HTV before you cut it and then go and cut out your design this looks phenomenal when you are doing varsity letters for like a distressed varsity shirt things like that now we have done this on a TikTok and a short before, but we are gonna be actually doing a full video on this very soon. So if you don't wanna miss that out, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can see exactly how we use this cheese grater to distress our HTV. This next item can also be found in the kitchen section, and this is the cake decorating tool set. We love using this for paper crafts. You have a daughter down here, and this is specifically used for like fondant, but you can take this and really manipulate your paper and make it, especially for like flower petals. This one is great for flower petals. And then you could even use this blue one to create the lines in the center of flower petals. So many different things that you can do with paper crafting with this cake decorating tool set. These next three items that I'm going to show you are found in the beauty section. The first one is this silicone facial mask applicator. This is great for spreading glue or resin on projects, especially if you need a thin layer and especially if you do not like the feel. I know some of us have like sensory issues and I can sometimes, it kind of freaks me out sometimes feeling like glue and stuff. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I don't. But for the days that I don't want to feel it, I can use this silicone facial mask applicator. And what you would do is you would take this and I'll get it out and show you. You can take it and just spread the glue and make a nice thin even layer. And then even if it dries on this because it is silicone, all you have to do is peel off the residue and it doesn't get stick onto the end of this. The next thing are these emery boards and these are used as nail files originally. However, these are great if you are wanting to sand down like little edges of basswood or you are wanting to distress paper. There's so many different things that you can do with these emery boards. Now, a lot of times we'll use this to sand down the extra edges off of basswood because if you get a piece of sandpaper, it can be hard to get in those little delicate areas, but these emery boards are great to get inside letters after you cut the basswood or the wood veneer. Um, so we love using these as like little sanding files for our craft projects. 
The last thing that is found in the beauty section that is great is this nail daughter tool. Now, once again, this is great for paper projects, very similar to the cake decorating tools, except this one just has a little bit more of a precision tip that you can manipulate paper with. We love using this in lots of paper projects. This is one that can be a little harder to find. We have looked and looked and finally found one. So if you see one at your local Dollar Tree, go ahead and pick it up for a dollar and a quarter. Um, we love having this around, especially if you are a paper crafter. Now the last thing is actually found with the automotive stuff if you can believe it and that is this five piece test probe set. These are actually great tools to use for weeding and not only that but they're a quarter a piece because you do get five tools in this. They do have different angles so you can pick which angle you like the best. Um, use them for different things, but this is definitely a one that you need to get the next time you are in Dollar Tree to use for weeding. So what do you guys think? Did you ever think any of those tools could be used in your craft room? I hope that you have learned something today or if there's other items that you have found at Dollar Tree that you love using in your craft room that is not found in the craft section, make sure you leave a comment down below and let us know. We're always out looking for the newest things to use in our craft room to help make crafting easier. If you've not already, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified every time we get crafty. And if you want to learn more hacks from Dollar Tree, make sure to click this video here.